Hi there, welcome to a brief reflection for Friday the 18th of November as we journey through Proverbs Wisdom for Life. We're in chapter 18 of Proverbs today. I hope you're well. Chapter 18 begins with a familiar um, theme that we've seen throughout Proverbs about the use of words and language and tone. Fools find no pleasure in understanding, but delight in airing their own opinions, says verse 2. So wisdom involves being less concerned about airing our own opinions and showing a keenness to learn from others, to keep learning. Um, verse 3 charts the path of wickedness and contempt and shame and reproach. And verse four, the words of the mouth are deep waters, but the fountain of wisdom is a rushing stream. Lots of watery images in that verse. What comes out of our mouths perhaps does uh, betray the depth of emotion and feeling. The words of the mouth are deep waters, but the fountain of wisdom is a rushing stream. May we find ourselves in that flow of the Spirit's wisdom, the flow of the Spirit's stream. Verse 4. Uh, Lips of the fools bring strife, their mouths invite a beating, says verse 6. That's a bit harsh. The mouths of fools are their undoing, lips snare their lives. You get the theme? Verse 7. It's important the way we use language and the words that we use. Um, it's all summed up in verse 21. The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Verse 21, the power of the words that we speak. Verse 13, to answer before listening is folly and shame. Wisdom encourages us not to speak without thinking things through first, I guess. To answer before listening is folly and shame. The words of a gossip, it says in verse 8, are like choice mortal morsels. They go down to the inmost part. Beware being caught up in conversations that are gossip-ridden, because although it might just feel like something and nothing, um, the wisdom of verse 8 says that the words of a gossip are like choice morsels. So they you know, tempting to chew on, but they actually go down to the depth of our being. Gossip does affect us and change us and change our opinion of people and situations. Um, the verse I really uh, landed on for a little bit of personal reflection today was uh, verse 10 and then verse 11. I know verse 10, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous run to it and they are safe. It does make me want to sing those words. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous run into it and they are saved or they are safe. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, our fortress, our safe place. Compared to verse 11, where the wealth of the rich is their strong city, so we all have fortresses, we all have defences. Um, but verse 11 says, if it's about possessions and materialism, the wall is not too high to scale. We might fool ourselves that we're quite safe in there, we're protected. And in a cost of living crisis, when financial institutions crumble, we realise that the wall is not too high to be scaled. A downfall for the haughty, but humility comes before honour. So a lot to pick up from this chapter around um, the fountain of wisdom as a rushing stream deep within us that will affect the words we speak and the time we take to think about things and keep learning. Humility becomes comes before honour and knowing where we run to to be safe, the righteous run to the, the Lord. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Uh, of course, Jesus uh, is our Lord. He is our saviour. He is our safe place. We run to Jesus. Verse 24, the final verse says, there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. We did thank God yesterday for family and for friends who 
make life worth living and bless us in so many ways. And I wonder who comes to mind for you when you read a verse like, there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother, than a sister, than a family member. Who are those deepest, dearest friends who we know are with us through thick and thin? But again, ultimately, so much of scripture points towards Jesus. Jesus is our friend. Jesus is our brother, our sibling. Um, and perhaps we think when we read a verse, there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. We thank God today for Jesus, God in human form, who is closer than a sibling, closer than a brother, a friend who will never leave us nor forsake us. So some great wisdom in chapter 18. I hope that's uh, encouraging and helpful to you. Let's watch how we use our lips and our mouths today and speak uh, love and speak grace and speak, speak peace to those we encounter today. Then we're up to chapter 19 tomorrow, Saturday the 19th of uh, November. Join me briefly tomorrow for a few thoughts on Proverbs chapter 19. We're working our way through Proverbs, wisdom for life. Wish you a good day. God bless.